Oh, what's up everybody? Just woke up from a nap. See, here's my cot. I tell you, I love the month of October so much. Especially when the weather is just ideal and perfect like this. That even when I take my afternoon naps, I do it outside, up here in the woods. What did you think that was? All right. Oh, I know why you're confused. Get my six. Did you hear that howl? We just have some squirrels barking. So, uh, silly sleeping bag. Get my six because I did hear a howl. So guys, I'm gonna get some water around here somewhere. All right, so listen, don't panic just because I've got a short video coming at you here. Doesn't mean that there's no creepy, scary story for tonight. There is at 7.30, just like every night through the entire month of October, we're doing a reading from October nights Part two, 31 more tales for the Halloween season. But I wanted to come on. Oh, dearly is such a sweetheart. She knew I was up here napping. You were not gonna believe what she brought me. I'm, I was worn out, cream crackered as our friends over in England would say, because we went fishing today uh, again. And man, we caught catfish like this, literally, literally. And I, you know, the, the, the thing is I was reading a book called, or a story called Winthrop. Uh, it's tomorrow's reading for October Nights Part 2. I'm trying to stay a day ahead, so in case something comes up, which happens a lot in life, I don't miss out on a day. So I thought, why not take the book and set up there by our favorite fishing spot and just read while I fish? Well, I did that, and spoiler alert, okay, I, I finally got the video made. It's a long one. It's one of the longer stories in the book. It's like a 42 minute long video. Um, but just a few pages into the video, my pole almost got dragged into the pond and I had to stop the reading to, to reel in like a big giant channel cat like this. Uh, Dearly's got a video on her channel, Life with Dearly, showing some of the fish we caught today. But it wore me out. I mean, just reeling in those huge fish in between reading that story and everything. So I had to take a nap. Um, I did have lunch, but I didn't eat much and Miss Dearly knew that. So look what she brought me. Oh my goodness, what a sweetheart. What a sweetheart. Lumpia, her delicious lumpia, Filipino spring rolls. Look at this. And in the sauce, it's like a sweet duck sauce type stuff. Look at this. You just dip this in here and you go like, I had a gnat in my eye. You go like this. Mmm. You hear how crunchy that is? I always eat with my mouth closed. Unless I'm eating this delicious, crunchy lumpia because it sounds as good as it tastes. Does it not? Mm. Shut up, squirrels. You don't get any. You know, just saying. You can purchase some of Dearly's Delicious Lumpia on our Etsy store. Her, her birthday's in the month of October, by the way. How neat is that? You talk about serendipity. The love of my life would be born during the month that is the love of the, my life as far as months go. So, but anyway, you can also get with your order of Lumpia, the $70 order of, order of Lumpia. There's like a giant freezer bag of Lumpia. Comes with sauce. Hmm. Get some of her delicious uh, adobo peanuts. They're like garlicky, salty. This isn't about food, this video, I promise. I mean, it's some, you know, there's food in the video. You know what I mean, right? But look at that. We always eat half of what she makes. Fresh garlic, chop that up, cook it with the peanuts. Buy them raw from a peanut farmer. Look at that piece of garlic right there. Mmm. Peanut farmer down North Carolina, North Takalaki. 
Just blow it. Buy them raw, cook them. Mmm. Mmm. So anyway. Mmm. Mmm. You know what goes great with these? Lumpia. Mmm. Oh my. Oh. You know, when I first saw Dearly, I was like, man, she is the one. She is so beautiful. This whole cooking thing that she can do, I had no clue. I had no clue. It wouldn't have bothered me if she couldn't cook anything. But, oh my gosh. Okay, shut up about the food and get on the story. Listen, here's a quick one for you. Um, we're still taking ghost stories, stories in regard to anything supernatural, paranormal, cryptozoological, UFOs, aliens, at the channel's email address, which is crazylake at mail.com. Crazylake at mail.com. Um, thank you for those of you who are continuing to send your stories. We hope to have volume two of True, True Haunties out at the end of October, shortly thereafter, so we can continue with the creepy stories even once that beautiful month of October and Halloween has passed. Um, somebody submitted a story recently who, and the submitter wishes to remain anonymous, that I really liked, and it's definitely going in volume two. Um, they're from Tennessee, so he or she knows who they are if they're watching. Um, these are the stories I like because often the most believable people, hear that tree knock? The people I find most believable about Bigfoot, Sasquatch, ghosts, hauntings, all these sorts of things, are people who will just outright tell you they don't believe in that stuff. They're skeptics. They've never believed in it. They think everybody that does is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, but then, lo and behold, they have their own experience and they are instant believers. That's the case with the story submitted to us from Tennessee. Uh, in a nutshell, let me keep it short because I know you're waiting around impatiently for 7.30 p.m. for the reading from uh, October Nights, part two. Uh, this person and their family moved into a haunted house. Now, he thought everything that was happening was perfectly explainable, uh, and his stepfather uh, didn't believe in the paranormal and that kind of stuff either, and, and he thought, well, there's got to be some sort of explanation of this, all of the odd things that were going on, bumps in the night, uh, until... And, and we had uh, somebody submitted a story for volume one that had the similar situation to this. The TV would just randomly come on uh, middle of the night at times, no one up, nobody there to hit the remote. Uh, and so they started questioning, well, maybe there is something to this. And then another member of the family who didn't live in the house came for a visit and they had some things they wanted to store, I believe was the situation. So they ended up going up into the attic and in the attic, they'd never been in the attic of this old house before. It was a very old house. They found, hanging from a rafter, a noose and a chair that had been kicked over. Well, I don't think I have to come out and just point blank tell you what probably happened there. <clears throat> and the submitter of the story said, after they found that uh, hidden surprise in the attic, they never witnessed any paranormal activity in that house again. It's almost as if the entity in the house and this is my summation, just wanted to be acknowledged. It wanted to, to have acknowledged that it was the aftermath of a tragic event. Uh, creepy story. Several others have been submitted. Again, if you have some, anything related to any of this type of stuff, send it in to crazylake at mail.com. And I have a, something ironic I'm going to tell you too here before I part ways with you. Uh, a couple days ago, I read the story uh, from October Nights Part 2 called The Call That Never Came, and it's about the mysterious telephone ringing at the cabin where I was hunting back in West By God, Virginia, close to 30 years ago now. Um, and I mentioned in that about the phone that I hear ringing inside the wall in my house every winter. The very next day, which was yesterday, the very next morning after reading that story, it was 5.09 because I looked at my watch when it happened. I'm sitting in the living room on the couch, prying my eyes open with my first cup of coffee for the day. And after my first sip, ring, 
comes from inside the wall. And I smiled. And this is the first time it, it happens every year, usually later in the year. It doesn't start until winter. Uh, I always get the heebie-jeebies, get a little bit freaked out because I'm like, here's yet another ghost in our 130-year-old house. We're going to hear the tale of some others here towards the end of October and October Nights Part 2. Just hang in there. These stories get more and more ter terrifying as we go towards, towards Halloween, get closer to Halloween. But I, I smiled because I feel as if this entity, at least, was thanking me for giving it recognition on the World Wide Web. So, with that said, I got me some loompy to eat. And obviously, a friend out there in the forest who may or may not want to be found. Get this delicious lumpia, and for the month of October, get a free pack of peanuts with it. Available on our Etsy store. The link's in the description box below. Mmm. -hmm. Here, Bigfoot Sasquatch, Bigfoot Sasquatch, Bigfoot Sasquatch. Mmm. Here, Bigfoot Sasquatch, Bigfoot Sasquatch, Bigfoot Sasquatch.